Hello everyone, welcome back to another Watch Me Work on my channel. Today I decided to share with you guys a little bit more of a simpler design. So this would be great for those clients who want a little bit of nail art but they don't like a ton or if you are crunched for time and the client does want nail art but you don't have that much extra time to work with. I just thought I would share this. I did these nails on my mom using nail foils and kind of like picking a color scheme that goes with it and just kind of something a little bit more of a simple design. So let's jump right into it. This was the previous design, so I'm going to make sure and file this off and do all of my prep work, and then I'll meet you guys back when I'm ready to do the design. So we decided to pick a transfer foil and then kind of work a color scheme around that. So this is the one that I went with. It's a really pretty rose floral design and it has some like light pinks, some darker kind of red pinks and some little leaves and things like that. So I kind of pulled some colors out of the foil that would match and that's what I went with. And that's kind of how you can create a color scheme if you pick like a specific thing that you want to work off of first. So I'm applying this pink gel polish. I believe this is Cotton Candy from Magpie. This was the color that I had that matched that foil the closest. So this is the color that I'm going to apply first before I apply the nail foil. For the transfer foil, I'm using Magpie's Full Foiled. This is their foil transfer gel if you wanna do a full cover foil. And I'm just going to apply a nice thin coat over top of that pink. And then I'm gonna make sure and cure that for 60 seconds. Now, I am still new with using foils. I'm still trying to get the hang of it. So leave me like some of your best transfer foil tips down in the comments. Once you've cured this, full foiled transfer gel. You wanna make sure and let it kind of cool down for a little bit, like a minute or so before you apply the foil. It'll help the foil to stick a little bit better. So I just placed the foil onto the nail and I'm using a little silicone tool and I'm just making sure and rubbing that foil really nice on top of that cured gel and it's sticking really nicely. There are a couple places where it wants to come off. So I just kind of push the foil back onto the nail, kind of line it back up, and then I usually can kind of get the other little bits to transfer as well. Now, transfer foils are known for chipping, so what I did is I used my file and I went in and roughed up the edges after I applied the foil. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of sticky primer right on the edges and then top coat these nails twice. And I can tell you I did these nails about a month or five weeks ago and my mom's nails have not chipped, so that is awesome. So I wanted to kind of add just a little bit more to the foil just to kind of spice it up a little bit. So I went in with the Magpie, their gold little flakes that they have. And after I applied the top coat over top of the foil, I just stuck down some of those gold flakes right on top of the foil there. So it just added just, you know, that hint of gold or metallic over the top and just added a little bit more to it than just the average foil. When I am creating a color scheme for a set of nails, I personally love to add some sort of a metallic. I usually go for gold, but some of my clients like silver and then also I love rose gold as well. So I usually try to add some sort of metallic hint in there. If your clients don't like that, then that's totally fine. You can just stick with some like really nice, pretty cream colors that would match the foil also. The accent color that I went with is from Daily Charm and it's number 404 called Cherry Lips. And this one, it looks a little bit more orangey red in my camera or in my computer that I'm editing on, but it has a little bit more of like that red berry tone. So like a little bit more pink than orange. 
So I'm just doing a couple nails on each hand to accent that foil. And I make sure and do two coats of this and cure that. Then for the other nails, I'm going in with the Beamy Beauty Box Gold Metal Leaf Gel. Beamy Beauty Box, hands down, makes my favorite leaf gels. And so I decided to go with the gold just to accent the nails a little bit more and to pull out those gold flakes that I place on top of the foil. So once I've top coated all of the nails, this is the end result, a super pretty color scheme based on that foil and a pretty easy design to do if you're in a time crunch or if your clients just prefer something a little bit more simple. And I just love these foils. I think they look gorgeous and I love adding just that extra pop of gold on top of them just to spice them up just a little bit. So. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Also, thank you guys so much for being so patient. I haven't had a video up in a couple weeks because I've been on vacation and visiting some family that I haven't seen in quite a while, so it has been a nice little break for me. Thank you guys again. I'll see you guys later.